A lot of people think all claw machines are rigged, but that's not necessarily the case. In this video, I'm gonna show you some tricks, hacks, pointers, whatever you wanna call them, to improve your chances of snagging that plush toy you have wanted your entire life. Hey guys, I'm here at Scene 75. We're gonna be going around playing all their claw machines. Let's see what we can win today. We're gonna start with uh, this Pac-Man machine here. This machine's by a company called Coast to Coast. These are the brand of machines you wanna look for that have that double clamp technique, which I'm gonna show in a little bit. The first time you press the drop button, simply gonna drop the claw like any other claw machine. But the second time, if you press it again, it will close the claw early and quickly, and this will better your chances of snagging a prize. You may also find this setting on other Japanese style mini claw machines, for example, and this setting is known as air grab or air catch. And we're gonna go for the ghost. <laughs> we're not gonna go for Pac-Man. That ghost might be gettable. Maybe. Oh, look at this, first try! First try! You can't make this crap up! We literally just started rolling, and we got a white ghost to show for it. Now this claw machine here that's filled with all South Park plushies is a totally different brand of claw machine, and it's made by Elot. These machines do not have any air grab that I know of or any air grab enabled. I'll try and swing it a little bit and maybe tip him up. Tip him right up in the chute. Oh. Come on, Kenny. Kenny! Oh. Nah, I missed him. Oh! That was awesome. That's kind of what I was hoping was gonna happen, but I wasn't expecting it. That's it right there. When they're piled up like that, you can usually tumble them in. Very nice. We got Kenny, South Park, licensed plush, and a couple plays. Now these are kind of stacked up too, so I'm gonna maybe go for that one there, and if it drops it, it might tumble it in. So the next claw machine I'm at is this one with the expanding spheres, and this is another claw machine by Elot and does not have the air grab feature. I have won these before. Uh, problem is when they catch other ones, they get stuck. Ah, it keeps hooking that blue one. Oh, oh. Let's see. Oh, that's a good grab for the purple one. Come on, swing it in. Oh, yeah, see, it, it tumbled like I said, but it just didn't have enough oomph. With this machine, you gotta be careful because you gotta go for spheres that are not tangled with any of the other ones. We're hoping it picks it up and just drops it right in the prize chute. Let's see if that works. That'd be insane. Swing it in, swing it in. Oh, we got it. Nice. With this one, I think I had a lucky full strength grab there, as you saw. Uh, the claw didn't drop it. It carried it all the way to the prize chute for a win. That was awesome. A couple plays, we got a mini sphere, and these are cool. Because you can put your uh, plush that you went in here and then you carry it around. So now we're gonna fast forward to the air grab technique that I use on the Pac-Man claw machine to win a ton of plush. He's kind of by the chute, so. Look at this, swing him in, yeah! Nice! Pac-Man Battle Royale, guys. So we came back to this one. We can keep playing to see how many Pac-Mans we can win. Now this has double clamp technique, so when you drop the claw, if you press the button again, it will, the claw will close early. See that, how it clamped like that? And that's, the, that's how you win at these, man. That's perfect. There's only certain claw machines that you can do that with. And these ones here, these fun zones, and that has to be by Coast to Coast Entertainment. You can do the double clamp is enabled a lot of the times on these. And look at that, we just snagged, that was two in a row. We got a, now a regular Pac-Man. All right, we're gonna go for this blue ghost right here. Now I'm gonna double clamp it, watch. So boom, and now watch the claw, boom. I see how it closed on him? Look at this, again, three in a row. This is insane. Dude, another ghost, look at that. One of the easiest little claw machine hacks, it's not really a hack, I mean it kinda is, but it's legit. Like it's, it's a feature that some of these machines have, but not all of them. 
So you have to be careful with this technique and you have to practice it a lot because you don't want to close the claw too early. If you double tap right away, the claw is going to close before it even has a chance to get down to any of the prizes. You think of maybe this white one here again? This would be for four in a row. Yeah, see I missed them. Oh, that's okay. We uprooted, we freed that red one now, see? When they're kind of packed in like that, sometimes you have to at least just work them out. And... All right, so now we're gonna go for the red one and we're gonna do that same double clamp technique. Now that he's free, this should be perfect, watch. Boom, boom, and hold on to the prize chute. No problemo, look at that. He had to free him up out of there and we got him. Another license plush win right here. All right, we're gonna go for the white uh, ghost now. I kind of freed him out of that little, he was kind of packed in, so he might be gettable now. We're gonna again do a double clamp. Boom. Oh, that one hit the, I don't think that's gonna get him. Okay, maybe it will. I don't know, man. That's insane. I don't even know how many in a row that was. I think that's two in a row again. That's crazy, man. He might be dead zone, but we'll see if we can work him out of the dead zone. Dead zone is the area where the claw cannot reach. See how it didn't really get around him? all the way but sometimes you can work them out of the dead zone by wasting a play or two so this claw here for some reason it's scene 75 just loves to go do start doing this and i don't know why it does this i'm trying to make this video and it just it's so oh, stupid don't step up the now i got a caught on the it'll be a miracle if we get anything <laughs> That'd have been funny. Well, that was fun while it lasted, but that's some pointers you can use to win at the claw machine, guys. As you can see right here, filled up pretty quickly. All those Pac-Mans. Just using that double clamp technique that only very few machines have. But if you find the right machine and you know that it has it, try that technique. It, it, it greatly improves your chances of winning. I was here at the arcade scene 75. We won all these prizes, including the sphere that this is in. ArcadeMat.com has some of my plush and prizes for sale. And like we always say, thanks for watching. Arcade.